So Aspinall manages to stop Pavlic in the first round of their um, interim title fight. Um, right off the bat, uh, one thing I found a bit alarming when the fight started was before the fight started, I felt like there was a bit too respectful to each other. Like they was already hugging and stuff before the fight started. But then when the when they touched gloves and it went off, immediately um, Aspinall landed a leg kick. And um, you could just tell, even though um, Pavlic is the one with the power, Aspinall just looked a li- little bit sharp, more sharper and faster in there than uh, Pavlic did. And then what happened was, um, obviously, I think Pavlic landed two um, headshots and they, they were incredibly close to decking him. But uh, Pavlic, uh, not Pavlic, sorry, Aspinall, um, Aspinall got two headshots landed on him from Pavlic, sorry. And um, it came very close to decking him. But Aspinall showed really good, um, uh, a very good chin. And he also showed a, a very good lateral movement because he moved around the ring and he, he was just much sharper in there in terms of his footwork than Pavlic is. Now, Pavlic is a puncher. With punchers, generally, they have to set their feet before they can let their bombs go. So Aspinall had the right um, right strategy of constantly using lateral movement. So Pavlic couldn't, um, couldn't actually set his feet and let his hands go. But then it came to the point where, like, um, he kept using lateral movement. He kept countering him like he did, and eventually, um, he um managed to drop and stop him. Um, there was a few wild exchanges in between that, like leg kicks and wild exchanges. But um, Aspinall managed to actually stop Pavlic. So this was a very impressive performance. If you think about it, like, um, if you look at um Pavlic, Pavlic was a dude that was literally in his last six fights he knocked out all of his opponents. So he was in a six fight KO streak. And then on top of that, um, he was undefeated for five years. I think his last loss was to Overeem, if I'm not mistaken. So for um, Aspinall, who doesn't have that much experience, um, and this was my first time actually watching him fight, I was actually really impressed with his um, speed, his, um, his athleticism. The fact that he's such a big guy and he can move so easily was quite impressive. And he managed to drop him. So... In my opinion, um, he's he fought this fight um with flying colours and he, he made it look almost easy in there. So um with Aspinall, Aspinall's in a bit of a precarious position. He's the interim champion. Um, but like obviously, let's just be honest about it. Um John Jones is out with his little injury. I think he's got a pectoral tear. And then on top of that, right, you've got Stipe, who's a 40 years old. Now, obviously, John Jones and um, Stipe have to fight each other, right? Like that fight is penciled in. Um, but where does that leave Aspinall? So what will happen? Because think about, it, I don't think John Jones is going to want to fight this guy. I mean, he could want to fight him, but this is a new, new type of heavyweight. Like this is Aspinall is, is quite special. I think there's a new, new type of heavyweight that's coming on the scene, which is kind of athletic, um, but also very, very gifted. Um, on the feet, but also very good on the ground as well. And I feel like um, Aspinall represents that. I mean, he, he he's part of that new crowd. I mean, to some extent, you can say Serial Gain was part of it as well. But Aspinall especially, um, he, he seems to be part of that crowd. And I think um, John Jones, he knows he's getting older. And don't get it twisted, he gave a very good performance against Serial Gain. But Serial Gain doesn't have a ground game as sophisticated as Aspinall. So in my opinion, um, I'll be honest with you, I, I think... Um, there could be a very good chance that um, John Jones decides to actually um, not decide to fight this guy because he just seems like an absolute animal um, in there. But obviously, we'll, we'll look into this further and see see where we can go. So in my opinion, I, I just think um, this is one of them instances where um, I think um, John Jones, I'll give him a hell of a lot of credit if he does fight Aspinall, but I think there's a very good chance there's a very good chance that he's just going to, um, he's going to fight, he's going to fight um, Stipe and then he's going to retire because you've got these new heavyweights on the market like um, Aspinall who, who who look quite special. So that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion. What do you think is going to happen? Do you, do you think, do you think uh, John Jones will fight this animal or do you think he's going to duck him? I think there's a chance he will, might, might not fight him. That's no disrespect to John Jones. He's got an incredible resume, but Aspinall does look kind of special at the moment. I'm not saying he's guaranteed to beat John Jones. John Jones is, in my opinion, if you don't factor in steroids, is the GOAT. But it's all about timing. And I just think, 
um, Aspinall might be a special special type of fighter here. So yeah, that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion. What do you think about what I'm saying? Do you think it's um it's worth actually watching? Um, that them fight. I, th- I think an Aspinall fight would be incredible. But I just think John Jones knows he he's he's at the end of his uh he's at the end of his um career and why why would he go in there against someone like Aspinall? As as for Pavlic, I think Pavlic should fight um Serial Gain. I think a fight between them two could be quite interesting. They're both strikers. You got someone who's fleet footed like a Serial Gain, and him fighting someone like a Pavlic, who's a power puncher, is, is a good mix of styles. So in my opinion, that that could be an interesting fight. But tell me what you think below. Um, who do you think should fight who? Um, I mean, Aspinall's in a bit of a precarious position. But then, if John Jones does decide to retire, then I think his his own belt. His interim belt could be um, upgraded to a full belt, or he might have to fight someone else to get the title. Um, the same way um, John Jones had to do with Serial Gain after Francis Ngani retired. But tell me what you think below. What do you think can actually happen? Um, and is it is it likely to be um, As- Aspinall who's going to fight John Jones next, or is it going to be um, John Jones is just going to fight Steepy and retire? I think um, watching an Aspinall versus John Jones fight could be quite interesting. So tell me what you think below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace.